My channel is 100% viewer supported. If you like what you're watching, give it a thumbs up or just give it a thumbs down. I'm pretty sure that YouTube doesn't actually care. And if you think that's stupid too, then leave me a comment. When you're done, check me out on Patreon. Hey guys, I'm gonna play around with a look today that is specifically focusing on this. This is uh, Marc Jacobs' um, Out of the Blue uh, Matte Cobalt Blue Eyeliner that's so pretty. If you watched my video with Erica, you would have seen, what was it? It was, we were testing the Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera palette. I used this in that look and it's, I just threw my foundation on the floor. And it's so pretty and I uh, just wanted to do a look that just focuses on that and the rest of it's going to be nice and clean. Pow. I'm going to be using MAC Face and Body. I have a palette of MAC Matte eyeshadows and, and neutral ones. Um, I have some cream color bases here also from MAC. Um, and I have the Marc Jacobs liner. I have a blue mascara from NYX. All right, I've lost, I've lost my mind. What am I doing? Now, I don't know if this is gonna show up on camera or not, but if it does, if you see any spots on my lips, it's because they're stained from a red lipstick that I was wearing <laughs> earlier, and um, it just did not come off. So um, we'll handle it though. Now, since I'm wearing face and body from MAC, um, I'm gonna apply it how I like to. So let's roll up our sleeves. Put some in our hand, rub it around, try not to get it. And as soon as you start to feel it, it's slippery right now. As soon as it starts to get tacky, now it's ready to apply. And you're just going to press it into the skin. This is, in my opinion, I, mean, I wanna say it's the proper way to apply it, but there really isn't a proper way but it is um, a really nice way to apply the foundation because face and body is a little weird and it dries um, as you're working with it. Um, it's very watery at first and then it turns sort of weird and kind of gluey. You wanna wait for that, wait for it to turn. The other way, if you wanna apply it with a brush or a sponge, the other way that I always recommend is to just take some and put it on the back of a, like a palette or whatever and just even on your hand and just kind of rub it around and let it dry until it gets a little thicker. And then you can apply it with your brush or your sponge or whatever it is that you wanna use. Studio Fix and just... This is a MAC brush, by the way. I just dyed it orange because I felt like it. But this is the, what number is this? The 137? So as a base for my shadows, I'm actually gonna use a cream color base. This is tint. Um, this will crease. This will crease fairly quickly. I have fairly dry skin. I'm not that concerned about it. I'm using malt, but it doesn't matter because I'm only using this because, because, because I want to see how many times I can say because, and I'm mixing it right now. I'm not looking at what I'm doing with a little bit of Studio Fix powder. I'm just using it because it's, it's a little bit of a cooler tone. We're going for a really, really nice neutral barely there eyeshadow look. I think Jamie Summers, that's that's kind of what we're going for. So I've got soft brown, I'm mixing it with a little malt, and I'm going above my crease because of my like hooded eyes. Blanc type, is it blanc type or blank type? Blank sounds so <laughs> Um, Basically all I'm doing is like contouring and like highlighting my eyes. That's really it. 
All right, let's get to cracking with this um, eyeliner. Now this is gonna go in the waterline and basically all around the eye. And then I'm gonna do mascara and that's gonna be like the main part of this look. I don't typically do my foundation before my eyes, so I don't wanna mess it up. Even if it were just on the bottom, it would be really cool looking. Pro Long Lash Bare Lash. This is a flash colored mascara that MAC discontinued oh so long ago. That's a good look. It's such a pretty blue. All right, that's that. Now I'm gonna use um, Improper Copper Cream Color Base, which is this one right here. And this is going to be my blush and highlight. And typically if I use that um, as a highlight, it's also like, I'll just do this and it's my lip color with a little bit of lip gloss. And it's usually like, I just do the whole thing and I like how it looks, but I am going to do something else. Studio Fix powder, liner. This is the nude liner from Joan Collins Timeless Beauty. This is called Nude. I'm gonna be using this with Katrina, uh, which is a lipstick also from Joan Collins Timeless Beauty. It's probably my favorite product that they make. I keep it in my bag. This is how much is left. That's it. That's that's like just it's like down to like the the nubbin. And that's it. That is um the look. I um just wanted something really nude. It's like mannequin skin. <laughs> Melrose Place, 1994. I look like CK1 and um with just the brightness around the eyes. I kind of like it. I want to do it in every color. This doesn't come in a bright green and I wish that it came in a bright green because I think that that would be really, really nice. But I do have a bright green MAC one. It's one of the chroma lines. Might do the job. I got this guy right here. Yeah, that would probably do the job. It's a nice green. Chromographic pencil is what it is, not chroma line. I don't know why I'm so, you know what I should do? I should swatch the blue one. If you're familiar, that's the Mac one. That's the Mark. that's just Max green chromographic pencil. But the Mark Jacobs one is just like this brighter, brighter like cobalt color. It's very, let's go to the Seahawks game. If you have any questions, that's not about sports. Um, let me know. All right, guys, thanks again so much. I really appreciate it. I'll see you later.